Hello, I'm Maximo Trinidad, Technology Evangelist for Sapiens Technologies, Inc. In this instructional video, I'll be covering four ways our Sapiens editors will package an ongoing script to an executable. For this video, I'll be using Primal Script Editor. I open the editor, then using the file browser, I'm going to search and open the script getSystemInfo.ps1. The purpose of the script is to get some system information. The script provides two parameters, computer name and help. It also includes the function write to my event log, which writes information to the system application event log. When using the computer name parameter, the value can be either be a single string or an array of strings, which will be used to query the system information using two Dorian My classes, Win32 operating system and Win32 computer system. Then the result will be sent to both the console and to the system application event log. When using the help parameter, use the value true, and this will display the executable script help information. Now the packaging menu. On the editor, the packager option is available under the deploy ribbon tab. Now let's take a look at how to create a script package executable. To create a script package executable, I need to configure my packager settings for the script I'm working on. In the packages section, I click on the packager settings. It contains five sections, script engine, output settings, execution restrictions, version information, and build. Each of these sections can be configured based on your need. For this script, I will be briefly covering the first four sections. Back in the packager setting, let's look at the script engine section. To create an executable from a non-GUI script for the purpose of executing it from a command line shell, we can use the following four Sapien PowerShell host script engines. Command line, Wind application, Silent, and Window. Notice, Sapien provide the PowerShell host for different versions of PowerShell, version 2 through version core. Now for creating the sample script executable, I'm going to use the host for Windows PowerShell version 5. For this script, I'm selecting the target system to be Microsoft Windows 64-bit, and the script engine to PowerShell v5 host command line. In the output settings sections, here's where I can give the script a different name for the executable. I'm not making any other changes here. In the execution restriction section, here's where I'm restricting my executable to only run in a specific system or systems. I'm selecting Windows 10 and not making any other changes. Now, in the version information section, I will add any information about the script. As I'm not doing anything with the build section, I click OK and I'm ready to create my executable file. To build the script executable, in the packager menu, either click on the build or the build and run option. For this script, I'll click on the build option. This will complete the sample of creating the script executable using the script engine Sapien PowerShell version 5 host command line. And now we can test the executable from the command line. To run the executable file, I need to be in the folder where it was created. Keep in mind, if you're planning to convert a script to an executable, make sure to copy the script to its own folder. The packager build option will create a bin folder where the executable will be stored. Then I open Windows PowerShell 64-bit console, change to the bin folder, and run the executable with the required parameters. With the requ First, let's run the executable with the help parameter true. Then let's use the computer name parameter. I'm going to repeat the process and build the other three variations of this sample non-going script by going to the Packager setting, Script Engine section, then changing the Script Engine host. Now, for our second build, I'm going to build the executable using the Windows application Script Engine host. I create a different folder so I can keep the settings separate from this executable. I open the file, then in the packager settings sections, 
I change the script engine host to use the Windows application. Notice every time I select a different script engine host below the list, it will give you additional information about the host. As I simply populated the information in the other sections, I'm going to click OK and then build the executable. Remember, the executable will be stored in the bin folder, so I can use the file browser to navigate to where the executable is located and then right click to select copy file. Then in the Windows Publisher console, I paste the path so I can run the script executable. This time the results will not go to the console, but instead be displayed in a Windows-like application. Notice the Windows application also include a file, edit, and help menu so you can work with your results. At the same time, the result will be registered in the system application event log. Let's take a look at it. For our third build, I'm going to use the Windows Script Engine host. Again, I'm leaving the rest of the sections unchanged. This time, the result will not be displayed in a Windows application form, but it will be displayed in a pop-up Windows dialog box. Notice a dialog box will be displayed for each of the object property found, except when using the help as it was defined as a whole string value in the script. Now, in our fourth and final build, I'm going to use the silent script engine host. Try using both help and the computer name parameters. This time, all output for both help and system information going to the console will be suppressed. Only the system information will be available in the system application event log. As you can see, and depending on your need, you have different ways to convert your non green script to an executable. Go ahead and try it all other Sapien script engine hosts so you can pick the right one for the job. Thank you for viewing our instructional video. Feel free to check our assistant videos in our Sapien Technologies YouTube channel. For more information, feel free to go online and visit our Sapien Technologies products, information center, and blog pages. Thank you very much.